Um, hi there, my name is Denise McKay. Um, I've been with the City College for six, going on seven years this year, um, teaching various um, culture and various um, things for the City of College. Uh, today I'll be teaching the star quote making. Um, this is all new to me too, <laughs> but I hope you can understand and follow through um, and you can get this, get this done. Awesome. Can you hear her? Yes, ma'am. Oh, awesome. Okay, so I'm turning. Jeez. I'm turning the volume up. Well, like I said, um, I've been teaching here with the college with various um, different um, uh, things such as horse mask, uh, shawl making, um, star coat making, ribbon shirt, ribbon skirts, um, moccasins. Uh, hair strings, crossbody bags. So there's a variety of different things that I've been teaching for the past uh, six years. This is going to my seventh year. Um, I've traveled extensively to teach, uh, not only here, but into Minnesota, up into North Dakota, and as far as up to California, um, teaching what I know is star quilt making and different varieties of different things that I do. Um, so it's this is. Uh, well, with this technology thing, it's a lot different for me, but it's it's uh, something new, I guess, and the new norm that we all need to get uh, used to. I really advise um, mask, uh, what we what this uh, virus that we're going to do is something really serious. Um, I've been to um, today is actually a month that I lost my son that I raised, Carl. Um, so it's a tough day. For all of us, today has been a month and it seemed like it was just it still hasn't really set in, but he, we lost him to the virus. That's why I really push for everybody to, to wear your mask. This isn't something that um, it, it's a joke. Um, it bothers me when I see people that don't wear their mask because um, we had lost um, a son, my son that I raised. So I just want to put that out there for everybody. Um, this virus is a no joke. When it hits home, close to home and it's your relative, it's your family member, then um, people need to take it serious. So I just want to put that out there and remind everybody that, you know, to wear your mask, you know, even if people think that, you know, you're okay because he came in contact with somebody and it was just a matter of time. And uh, today's actually a month that we, we, we sent him you know, send them off on his journey. And that's a hard thing. So, you know, I just want to really say to everybody that take this virus seriously because it's nothing to pull around him. Because we, like I said, today's a month that I put my son in the ground. And so it was a tough day. And it really bothers me that people don't wear their mask or they're not taking this virus seriously like they should. Um, so with that being said, I just want to put that out there and have everybody you know, be serious about what's going on. They say this is the new norm and you know, it is, I'm, I, I try to keep myself moving. It's hard to get motivated after doing, um, losing my son is such a hard thing. But I'd like to welcome all of you again to the Star Quilt Making class. And what I put on a board here is just uh, things that uh, to get started is you're gonna need five yards of Five yards of different colors, meaning one yard a piece, one one yard a piece after you kind of decide on what colors, uh, what color star coat you want. But knowing if you do this five one yard of five different colors, that's gonna get you two tops. Vice versa in the colors. So if you buy five yards of five different colors, you should be able to get two star tops out of that, which you're buying here. This five yards is to fill in around the star. That's what it, that's how much it takes. Five yards to fill in around the star. Uh, five yards for the backing are full size sheet. And if you're gonna use a sheet, then just buy the flat sheet. It's not a fitted, just a flat sheet. Uh, whichever you're more comfortable with. So if you buy five yards, you're gonna cut that five, that uh, five yards in half and sew it together that will fit your here at star quilt. This is what I'm giving you here is full size, the full size of star quilt. And then of course your batting, um, you could do a, 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 they call it low profile batting or a 
thin. So whichever whichever one, the thickness, whichever one you prefer, but you buy it to the size of your quilt. Um, these, uh, the, 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 the uh, what I'm gonna put up here is you're gonna cut your, for a full size, what I'm giving you here, your full size are gonna be cut at a three inch. That's a three inch strip. This will get you your full size, your full size quilt. If you go three and a half, I go four and a half inch strips, that's your queen. Because your stars need to be bigger for your, and for your, um, your bigger, your uh, bigger, your blankets. And you're gonna go six across, six diamonds across. This one will be five. So then when you're gonna go into a king, cause that's a lot bigger one. So then you're gonna go into five and a half, five and a half um, for your king size. And that you're gonna go seven across, meaning the center of that star that circles around your seven across, that diamond's gonna be seven across. So the size that I'm gonna be teaching you is the, the uh, only five across. So, you got to cut your baby ones. I go two and a half inches. This are the baby one, the baby ones, and these ones I cut them at. They're four feet, four by four. I call them. So you're looking at your four tiles, and you go four across, four across, four wide, four down, four long. That's how big your quilt's gonna be. And I do a toddler size. My toddler size, I guess I should put it in here, but my toddler size are three, three and a half. That's a toddler size. That one is five feet by six feet long. So depending on how big you cut your diamonds, that's how big you're gonna get your quilt. So the bigger your quilt, the bigger your diamonds are gonna be and more across in the center, your diamonds. So I say six across meaning your diamond, say if you're like what I'm going to be working on is five across. So this is what I mean by across here. There's five here, five diamonds across, meaning that's going to get you this side. But if you're going to go into queen, then this is going to add on one. You're adding on one every time you go. So when I say five across for your full, this is your diamond. This is the center of the whole. It's gonna be all in one. Then your queen size, you're gonna go six across here. Your king's gonna go seven across. And that star needs to be bigger because you're covering a bigger um, bed. So then with those, when you're gonna fill in, your fill in also are gonna be bigger. You fill in around that star. So that's when I go, when I say five across, this will get you a full size. And even the baby, you're still gonna go full size, but you're gonna only be cutting like two inches, two inch strips. So when I talk about your two inch strips, with your full size, I go with um, your three inch strips. So when I'm talking about your strips, every color you're going to cut is going to be three inches, three inches across here. So that's what you're going to cut your full size. And then go on down to like, they're bigger. These are going to get the queen size, the king size, the babies are going to be a little bit smaller, two inches, um, two inches and two and a half, however smaller you can make them. Because you could make even a bag, you could go like an inch and a half diamond. And you can still do it exactly the same how I'm telling you guys, but your star is going to be, hey, you can make one this small. You're going to make pot holder. It's just a matter of how, how, uh, why you cut these. It's, that's, the, that's the extent of your star. So all your strips need to be three inches apart, three inches wide here. And then you're going to go the full, you're going to fold the, the material. You'll get them with the way you buy them off the boat. It's always folded in half here. So this is gonna fold down. Then you're just gonna start stripping. You're gonna go from the raw edge to raw edge down here. Sometimes don't don't turn it or cut it any other way because then you don't have that stretch in there. 
and, you, and your diamond's not going to show up. So just however you buy it off the bolt, when you buy it at the, at the store, they roll it off like this, but it's double. So then from there, you're just going to start stripping whatever size quilt you're going to make. So we're going to go with, we're going to go with, um, So we're going to go with um, your main colors here. Once you pick out your five different colors, so let's go with, a, say, a, um, we'll start with, let's say, a, a yellow here. Then we'll go with the orange, red. So you can just do a sunburst color. And then your um, maroon. That'd be your sunburst color. And then in here, you could put your green, light green, say a green color. That would really make it pop. So when you're cutting your strips here, you're going to go with three inches. You're only going to cut two yellow with the pattern I got here. I'm going to cut two yellow. So I'm going to cut two yellow. Then I need, uh, I need four orange. The next color, I'm going to cut two strips. This is the top, and this is your center of your star and the point. So my next color here I'm going with is the orange. And that one is the orange, and I need to cut four of these. Then the next color is uh, six. I need to cut six, six red, six red strips. The next color I got maroon, you're going to go eight. Your center is green. So you only need to cut five strips of green. So that's why I said if you go with uh, one yard of all these colors right here, vice versa, this is going to be your center and then you're going to work it back up. You're going to vice versa all those colors. So one yard of five different colors will get you two tops. And you're just vice versa and then back up. So this would be the center. This would be two. And then the next, the next lowest one, you're just going to vice versa to back up. But you can always get two tops from out of a, um, one yard of five different colors. So that's how, so that's all you're going to need. But if you want to not buy like one yard a piece, okay, then you need to go in and you're going to need this one. You're going to need six inches because they're three inches, three inch cut. So you're going to need six inches of yellow. And then just, uh, and then you're going to need what? Three, let me call six. 18, 18 inches. So if you want to figure that all out and you don't want to buy the whole yard, then that's how you're going to, because this is six, this is three inch cut, so you need six inches of yellow. So just keep adding on like that, all, every color. So it's for me, it's always easier to just buy the whole yard. <laughs> you can always have it after, because you can use these to fill into whatever strips you have left. You can fill in that star around it. You can square it off and use the other extra materials as well. If you buy one yard, you're going to have this stuff. So say around your star, around your star, then you want to put all yellow. Your star, your star is in here. So you want to do all yellow, frame it out. That's what you're going to have the most of. So that's how I always look at it too. Then your next color, if you want to you know, frame it off, you like just strip it and frame it off. Don't have to be three. So if you buy, if you want to do that, but if you don't want to buy one yard, then you're going to have to add on all these and then just buy exactly that amount. But whatever your color, you can fill it in. You're going to fill around that star one, it has to be five yards. So, and it doesn't have to be white. Everybody thinks it has to be a white star. So you can make it whatever kind of color you want to. Then the main thing is, is when you're going to do pick your colors, make sure you don't pick too many. I, I always say don't. You could put a pattern in here. Say we have a, a flower print pattern, we can put here, then we're, then we're working off those colors that's in that pattern. But if you put more patterns in here, you're really gonna have a hard time with that star because so for some reason, the patterns are real stretchy. And I don't know why that is. <laughs> but so I always try to limit, um, you can, it's doable if you wanna put a pattern here, a pattern here, a pattern here too. Even that's going to be, you know, because they're real stretchy than the than just the, the solid colors. I don't know why it's that way, but so I was trying to tell people to not to really put too much patterns in there because it's real stretchy. 
I mean, that's doable, but you gotta be really, really you know, know, how to, know how to stretch that material, know how to line up those points. So a lot of the, a lot of them look at when they're gonna buy a star quilt, they look at how well your points fit. Are your points right on or are they kind of off? So when they, you're looking at a quality of a star quilt, your points here, meaning every one of these little lines here, when you're connecting them, when you're putting them together, they look at the points. Are they off or are they just right? So that's the quality, the quality of your uh, star quilt. You look at that to see the points. Are the points right on or are they kind of a little bit offset? In the, and meaning offset is if you put too much patterns in these diamonds and then you're going to get that stretching more and you're going to have to sketch more to, to make your point fit right on. So that's basically how, like I said, one yard, you can get, you can get two star tops out of it. So just depending on what size quilt you want, you cut your strips that way. Once you cut your strips, once you cut your strips, then you're going to line up the aisles, give them a little diamond like this. Then you're going to put your colors in it, just like how I said. The top and bottom is going to be yellow, orange, red, maroon, and green. So I always just write the, the letter of the color I have in here. So when I'm picking them up, I follow that. And you pick up in one direction like this. And then, there, you, then you just pile them and you start showing. So once you strip your pad, once you strip do your strips, this is how it should look. When I say your panels are done, this is how your panels need to look like this. So I always tell them like that strip of that pattern, I'll hold it right here. It doesn't necessarily have to be like right in line, but this is where you're going to cut your 45 degree angle right here. So all your, your strips like this are going to come down. This is how your panels are going to look five panels. With those five panels, you're going to get your star. So I would tell you, tell them to fold, fold every from this corner to right here. You're going to flip this down and make a crease here. All of them, you're going to flip them down and make a crease there. So then when you do start to cut, so this is our 45 degree angle we start to cut on once you start cutting them. Then you're going to go move three inches down your cutter, three inches. You're going to move it down here, place it on here. Then you're going to cut up. That's how you're gonna get your diamonds, like that. Then from there you start to put them, put them together. But when you're gonna take this whole, when you finish this whole panel here, you should have in total nine, nine, nine strips like this. And you're only gonna use eight, but that ninth one you give or take. If you, one of these you mess up, you can have nine because you're gonna have nine. You're only gonna work with eight of these, but you you'll get a ninth one. That ninth one, I always um, I always don't put them together. I just keep them and I put them all together at the end. And when I get a whole bunch of them, and I always just make a space start because I have an extra, I have an extra, a extra one left over because you're only gonna use eight of these. Extra. Are you the person? <laughs> <laughs> I always call them my hail to start with because they're just all different colors and I just pick them up and make a star. So they're just a variety of all different colors. So because you're gonna end up with nine strips. Once you cut this whole panel, you're gonna have nine strips. So give or take, that's your mistake one, and then you can fix whatever here you make. So once you get sewing and then once you get all these together, get then you're gonna start ironing. Irene is really important to open these seams up so that they match up. And when you're sewing, they're not all of a sudden, you've got to really pull them, open them up and pull them good. So then after that, then you're going to start your other, your other one here. Then you're going to start to put it together. When I talk about your points, this is what I talk about here. Your points your points right here. So if you're looking at a star quilt and you want to know the quality of it, like how well is it made, this is what you're looking at. This is what I talk about, your points right here. Your points should be right on. And then these, all your points should be right on. If, so if they did, if they're not on, then this color is going to run into this color and they're going to be off, off set. So 
that's what I'll talk about the points here, points here. So once you put this, put these strips together, then they should be all on, all on feet. So with that, once you get your star together, I always only do two. Put two together, leave it, put two more together. Once you get the four, and then you're gonna put them together, then that's half your star book. A lot of them just keep going like this, and then for some reason, however they're pulling it, then it doesn't lay right. So you put two together, two together, and then you're gonna sew them. Uh, once you get those together, then you'll sew, just, then you'll make your half, your half for your star. Then you put these two halves together, put them together, but you're only gonna put half of it together, don't just keep sewing them. So you're gonna put two together, put that away, put that aside, and go to the next two piles. And then you put those two together, that half your star coat. Then you put the whole thing together once you have your half done. So, I don't know, any of you have any questions so far? Any questions, ladies? Um, when you did the, when you explained the two colors, like starting out with the two yellow, is that just enough for just um, doing one diamond? Or is that going to make two, um, the, the star where, when I said you need it too, because that's your point. This is your center. Yeah. And this is your point. That's why you only need two strips. Okay. So this is the center right here of your quilt. Once you sew it together, then this is your point. So will I need point. to... Will I need to cut more than just those two strips for one diamond, or? See, uh, yeah, no, this is all you're gonna need. This is this is your full star quilt. What I'm showing you here, this is okay. your full quilt. You're gonna make a whole star right here with just what I'm showing you here. Okay. Once you cut them like this, this is where you're gonna get your, you're gonna have a full, you're gonna have, you'll actually have nine, you'll have nine, um, like I said, you give or take, you're going to have nine, you're going to have nine piles of strips. Okay. But these eight strips that we have right here, you're going to get your whole dark book. But like I said, if you want to vice versa, your colors back out. If you buy a one yard, if you buy a yard of five different colors, you can get two tops out of those colors, vice versa, and these colors back out. So you ended up with here, and this is only five strips you use. So your next quilt, your next quilt, since you only use five, that could be your eight. So your green can be here, where the eight is. And then you can have another cut. You use the most here was your eight right here, maroon. So your maroon is going to be right here. If you buy five yard, or buy one yard of five different colors, you're going to get two tops on it no matter what. But I said, if you don't want to buy, like again, if you don't want to buy one yard of five different colors, then then you're going to add, you're going to add six inches for your two strips here, and then for your orange here, that's six twelve. So you're going to buy twelve inches of orange, and then so on. They just keep adding on three, six, nine, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. Three, six, nine, yeah, 18. So then you'll need 18, 18 inches of bread if you want to buy it like that. You're just constantly adding on. So, so you sew the strips together before you cut? No, no, you're going to cut all your strips. You're going to cut all your strips first. You're going to cut all of these at three inches a piece. You're going to buy different colors. You're going to cut those all, all at three inches. Once you get your piles done, and then this paper I, I was talking about, then this is where you're gonna lay your two yellows and your pile. You'll have your two yellow here, then you have your orange, and then you'll have your red pile, and then your maroon, and then your green. So once you lay out how I have it here, so I'm gonna go in, Red, yellow. So then when I go in and start picking these up, I'm going to start right here. So I'm going to pick up one from this pile. I'm going to pick up one green, go all the way down and pick this up. That's one pile. Then I go to the next one here, which is a maroon, maroon, green, maroon, red, and um, 
orange, then you stop there because this is your point. You already picked that up. This is your point. You already picked one up with the yellow. Then you're going to go to your red, maroon, green, maroon, red. That's how you pick your pounds up. Once you strip them, then that's how you pick them up. So then once you get all these piles, and then you're just going to start with this pile. You're going to start sewing. So this one start. This one here would start with your green. You put your green first one, then maroon, then red, then orange, then yellow. That's your last one you're going to sew at. Sew into this pattern and show you that your panels. All of them are going to just be vice versa. All of these, you're going to have five of these panels. Then you can cut them all at one time or cut them one at a time. Okay, I'm kind of lost. <laughs> I was going to say, I think what will happen is when she starts, when they start, I'll zoom in and doing the, uh, when she starts doing the stripping and stuff, I'll zoom in and you guys can watch. Okay. I think it's, yeah. So it's more or less hands on, you'll be able to see it. Okay, thank you. Yep. So do you guys, do you get how you're going to pick them all up and? But, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but once we get all our colors, just see it yourself. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're, we're all learners like that. We, we have to see it. Yeah. If you can kind of just visualize how you're going to put your book's going to look, um, but then that's that's more easier. Once you pick your colors, then you're dying out. It's going to look energy more easier. You can erase that zinc link too. Okay, so we could probably, um, you guys don't have any questions on what I showed you up here before? Okay, so we could probably get going and um, um, hooking up our, our, our color. We can get five different colors up here. And you guys can see. Some of these you might have to look at them. Um, make sure you have enough because I know some of them put stuff on. Like this one here at three inches, this one here you have enough, but it'll be oh no, that will be that will be enough there. So just kind of look at which what uh, some of them are cut, some of them need. Hey, Jenna, are you recording this? Jen, are you recording it? Are you recording? Uh -huh. Yeah, Okay, somebody just asked if you were recording. Yeah, it's still recording. I'm okay, just helping her look for all kinds of stuff. Um, I was just asking that because if you could send me a copy of this video, that would be awesome. Um, it's going to be uploaded to the um, City and Bull College YouTube. Oh, okay. Yep. So what you guys can do, you guys can come up and then you'll pick, um, pick your colors, um, five different colors, that you, five different colors that you want, and then we'll get your cutting boards and then we'll start stripping. But on um, that little star pattern she gave you, kind of have in mind, like, Whatever colors you're gonna pick, which one you want to be in your center, like meaning the center of it, and then your point. Then, then from there you could work out. A lot of them pick their um, you pick your pattern, and a lot of them just kind of go off there. On um, the colors that will match that pattern. Go ahead and come up and pick whatever. Pick one pattern and then four other colors. If you want to, you can make a solid. Uh, if you want to put like work with a little bit more patterns, only suggest you. If you haven't really made one before, 
Because like I said, these are more stretchier. Um, so stretchier. So maybe be better. Sometimes a lot of people have it. That, that <laughs> <time separate. laughs> okay. So what can really what can Okay, see. So if you came to class, hey, <laughs> if you came to class, you get to pick and you get to keep what you make. I bought what I <laughs> So I'm going to put it, I guess, um, what I'm going to say is um, I'm going to talk with the president of the college, um, being that, you know, with this, this is, oh yeah. What would go good with this? That's what these are for here. So any one of these colors you grab, that it's going to match with this. So I always tell people, look at that. And they, everybody says, I'm wondering what those are for. <laughs> but that just shows you what's going to go with this. Just so um, what I was going to do is I'm going to talk to the president. So if you attended on Zoom and you're still wanting to do in class, I'm going to see if we can get that. Uh, we might just have one just for the ones that attended Zoom. So oh. just to give you a heads up. It'd be awesome. Thank you. Yeah, and um, it all depends what it's gonna what's it's gonna be like uh, in the springtime. So, yeah, yeah. Um, so while they're picking, um, I learned a lot from Denise, and I'm gonna show you this. I got these through Amazon. Remember, she said the three inch cut. Yeah. So I'll zoom in. You guys want to take a picture? It's JT seven nine six. I think I paid like fourteen or something dollars for this. Mm -hmm. I remember she said about the um, three inch cut. Yeah. Once you get to once you get your um, your material and you start cutting, is all you do is you take that. Huh? Is that a guide? Yep, and all you do is you put your um your fancy roller oh. and you do your stripping. Wow. And then of course you need your mat so you don't cut up your board. And then of course this good scissors. I'll give you kind of and then um Remember, she said earning. So we got an earning board and our nifty uh, towels that are our earning board. So you yeah. This one is going to be. Um, did you get a pattern? It's a pattern. Okay. So if you want this, however you want it. So what is this one? Like much colors. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what is this one? Where you want that one at? I think it's whatever. If it has the most, I don't. Yeah, this one would be th this one would be good to wherever you have. But you're, I'm just concerned about this one here. Yeah. This one would be Maybe enough like to do points. your points. So if you want this, your points. Let's just say orange here. So you know you need two strips out of here, and then you can go to the next color from this orange. Yes. Yeah, see, that's a lot. Okay. This is a lot right here. And then there's not. Depending on depending on where you want that, maybe like the three and the three. Okay, so six. Well, so so, so let's get that board behind you, and we'll lay it down. This one or the other one? Yeah, no, that one. the three inch. Yeah. Okay, so then we need you want the you want this one to be six strips. Yeah. So then let, we'll go here. We'll go right here. So there's one strip. Two, three, four, four, five. You will just barely have enough for okay. six. Weeks. Okay. So this one, if you then this is see this is one a cut already. So okay. So this one will go where the six. Yeah. So we'll put print a print, print right here. Print. 
Okay, so that's that one. So now you got to work with whatever other ones you want to fill in. Because you know for sure this is your point. You won't yeah. have enough to get two, two strips out of there. And then there's enough of either of these to Yeah, to go wherever. And this, you might have enough to go, um, oh no, this one, see, we got to go raw edge to raw edge. So you only so have, maybe this is the two. so this would be enough, this would be enough for your four. Yeah, yeah this okay. would be enough for you. Let's see, let's see for sure. One, two, three, four. Yeah, this would be enough for your four. So then we put mm -hmm. on the, the blue. Okay, then what's your next color after this? Which, which one is? Okay, your blue, this one, and then this is six. So two, four, six, and then now eight. You need one that's simple. Either one of these will, will get you there. Maybe this and then this, there's not two things. Okay, yeah. Okay, so then it'll be the purple. Yeah. All right, we've already got a piece. What's the purple? F piece. Oh, uh, for the flower print. Yeah. Okay, so then this lavender or purple, yeah. so that's going to be eight. There will be enough there for that. That and that gray one will be enough for whatever. So then this one is going to be your gray, will be your fiber across the center. So when I talk about so when I talk about the center, see this is all your center, yeah, yeah. whole thing, yeah, so that's what it is. So, what now you're ready to cut once you have your. So then you know, and then I always write, okay. So then your orange, orange, you need to cut two strips. Mm -hmm. Then your next one, you got blue, you need four, um, and then your flower one, you need six, and then your um, purple, you need eight, and then your um, center. That's your gray, you only need five. So that's how many strips of all of these you have to cut. So you can get one of those cutting boards there and then that's how much you're gonna cut out of. I'll show you how to um, like straighten them first. Okay, so we'll do your five here. So we talked about your raw edges. So I talked about your raw edges, mm -hmm. meaning see these two. So this is how it comes off the boat. So once you, you buy it like that, then you're just gonna go to here to here. Don't turn it the other way because the other way has too much of a stretch and you're going to cut them all wrong. So once we go that way. Get your uh, roller cutter. So this like red one yeah, here? That, yeah, that one. Let's see. Uh, one of these better. One of, one of these don't work. Well, we'll try this one. Okay, once you get this folded like this, okay, then you're going to straighten. Just keep it on this line here. And then we're going to straighten this one end up here. Okay, so once you get that, we're going to put this down and we're just straightening it out. So you keep this right on this line here. You're gonna line this line up right there, that right there. Okay, so then that then we're gonna we're gonna straighten it out. Ian, I can come and grab it. Okay, so you see so you straightened your edge up there. So then, okay, now you're gonna go, you're gonna start, you're gonna start going three. So we can just flip this around. Okay, so three inch, you're gonna hit it right here. And then push down, just follow this. Three, and you need how many of these? Okay, there's there's two strips. So it's three, six, nine. That's three. Twelve is four. Then you're gonna right where you end it with that last one because you need five of them. 
then you're going to put it at three. And then you have your, then you have your five steps. So then just okay so once you get it uh -huh. once you get these five strips done then just lay them all like this okay then the next color on down then we're going to start picking them up okay. okay so you're done with this one are you guys getting this, it? Then go to that one. You're going to need each kind of. Like how I showed you. Okay. Yeah. Edges. edges. Have they already set on it? Yeah, this one, see, it's already. They are, whoever took some off, it's already, it's still folded from raw edges. See? Okay. That's what I mean. You can keep those together, and then you're going to go clear to the end here. Okay, then you could go ahead and take your um so this one's pretty much straightened already because they took them off there mm -hmm. already so you could go ahead and just start go ahead and just start cutting because so okay. all the way across this board you're going to get four mm -hmm. get four okay. so you could just keep going at three inches so you need eight of these colors eight eight of these. Straightening, straightening that out, and then you're gonna go three, three, six, the nine, that's three inches, and the twelve. So that's four. Okay, Nicole. Then just keep going. You need four more, right there. Wow, that makes cutting so much easier. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think what I was told this will save your life on the right. <laughs> Better buy twenty of them just in case. Holy <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, try to just drop it in that <laughs> hey Jen, does that just hold it? Does that hold it so you can cut it and it goes yep. in there? Yep. Okay. It makes life so much easier. And pick them all up and put those in the top. Then go to the next one to the six minutes. Use a scissor if you want to use a scissor. I'm fine with this. Oh, yeah. Okay, similar one. Yeah. <laughs> Yours probably match more than mine, though. <laughs> I just pick colors I like and hope for the best. That will happen when you don't push hard enough. That that's how that that's what happens. But then that one, those red ones are kind of yeah. You could just cut right there. If you know your patterns, how you want them, then write them on your little that little star you have. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? Yeah. Hey Jen, could you send us one of those um those those diamond pattern ones that have the that make it up so we can Yep. Okay. Yep, awesome. I sure will. Thank <laughs> you. 
So red, yeah, red. You can go your your point as soon as you do. Where that been up before? Unless you want to do your point like that. However you wanna. But you know you gotta have so whichever one is gonna be eight, you gotta have enough eight too. Or you know, however you decide to, to lay them out on there. But just so you have enough for your so the red one so you know, here and here, right? Yeah. This could be your center, and that's going to be your point. So is this that is, of that one? yeah. You only need two. You only oh, need okay. two strips. So you only need about this much, okay. six inches of this. You need. Then you go on to your next color. Will be four. One, two, okay. three, four. So. So this would be the middle one if I did that? This no, that one's going to be, this one's going to be eight. This one you need eight strips. So then when you write it all down here, it's going to be, so you need red. You just put red, you're going to need two strips. Maroon, you're going to need four. And white pattern, you just put um, white, a white pattern, you're going to need um, six. Okay, oh, then the black polka dot. Maybe switch those two so those patterns aren't together. Enough. Okay. Okay. However you wanna. Where did you wanna switch them? Around so, Would this just be really too complicated? Yeah. However, whichever one you want. So then you'll go two if you want it like this, four, and then this white pattern It'll still be six. And then if you can switch this around, then you're gonna this will be the yellow. Then you're gonna need. Eight strips and then the black polka dot will only need five. So that's how many strips you cut out of all of them. So the yellow one is gonna be this middle going around. Yeah, the the, garden, that, right? yeah, this is your this is where I say your your center and that's all the way around. That's gonna be the that's yellow. Nice. Then I have a red star and then almost like the yellow center. Uh-huh. Yeah. Circle. So how this is gonna be is you're gonna be red here and then this is your center this is your whole center that's going to go all the way around this black polka dot oh. but if you wanted your yellow then you're still going to have to switch this here let me just switch this and then i'll do this okay you busy yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, whichever one you're going to put there, you're going to need eight, eight strips. This one? So we got to, let's see if you have enough for eight there. I can already tell it's not going to be enough. Eight strips. This blue will be enough. I think that blue will look good because of this maroon, the way it looks. And then your back, your sides would be vibrant. So this one? Kind of like your vibrant, yeah. And then your mat, and then your design. Yeah. <laughs> like that? Yeah. But if you see me how I dress, oh dear Lord. <laughs> Jen. <laughs> okay, so where you took this, um, the black, so the way you took the, um, so these can be switched? Yeah, yeah. So you're gonna put, uh, you'll put your- It's pretty. Got your, got your red, and then you got your maroon, then your pattern, and this one here, it would be the blue. blue. So you need eight out of here, and then this is your whole circle going around. Okay. So then this one will be your yellow, you only need five. So when I send that, now so you'll see what, four, what she's six, doing, okay? Eight, five. Four, yeah, three, thank five. you. Yep. So that's how you're going to cut up. And most of these should be folded the way you need it. So you, yeah, they're, they're all from the raw edge. Look how fast that is. So they should be, oh, that was already done. <laughs> Jen, this is a lifesaver because I need 10 of them for graduation next year. Cool. 
so now you can um start saving up or start buying a little at a time for sure stoney already said if i learn how to do them he'll buy me all the material and batting and everything i need dang and then you can ask denise denise what does it what's the total amount for a full-size blanket for um, all your material for all your materials probably around right around 64 dollars for your batting filling your sheet and your five different colors but remember your five different colors um you're going to get two tops out of there so just depending if you want to like measure if she needs if she wants to do that she would only need like six inches of this red so if you want to break it down that way you can but i always just stick with our five yard or one yard or five different colors will get you two tops no matter what because you're going to vice versa the colors up okay Sometimes they don't even sell you less than mm -hmm. a certain number yeah, a certain you number you yeah so you only need two strips up here so you're going to drop this right down in your number three and then just follow this line all the way up. Make sure it goes through. Then your next number is six. You drop it down in number six. And just push down in it so it cuts all the way through. I have two other things on the bees. I have one of those long skinny ones. And those ones are kind of there. harder to, yeah. like, to hold. So it's these ones here, you, so you just drop it, drop it in those little slats there and then yeah. just follow it. So here's your two that you need. Then you go on to your next, your next color. Okay, this one you need to, yeah, so you see it's still in a yard yet. This is how you're going to buy it off the yard. So once you do, once you get it like this, then you're going to go from this folded one to your both raw edges here. Geez, you girls are going to be experts at the fabric store. <laughs> mm -hmm. I already do a whole bunch of sewing. You don't want to iron it before you cut it? No, I never do because you're going to have to iron them once you, um, once you start stripping them and putting them in, into your panel, then you're going to iron them. Okay. Uh, some, some people like to iron them. If it's easier for you, then you can go ahead and iron them. I always don't iron until I actually get them into the panel. I asked that because when I, I learned from my great grandmother how to sew and she always had me iron all the material first, wash it and then <laughs> iron it. So this one you need four. So drop it down to three inches, yeah, put it in there. And then just push down. Okay, then go to six. How are you doing, Tessa? <laughs> Hopefully, you pushed hard enough. That they cut all the I'm through. good. I'm just watching and taking notes, trying yeah. to cut. Okay. Um, so then we just follow them up. This is and if you have any questions, color. go right ahead and ask. The next color will be um, six. How much thread do you buy? Oh no, so how much thread do you buy? For me, I always just get the real big spools um, because I do so much um, sewing that lasts me long. Because whatever thread you're going to use for your top. That has to be your bobbin fill too. You have to have the same um, weight of thread that you have on top for your bottom, your bobbin too. Otherwise, it, it's going to throw your tension off. Oh. Okay, you could just go ahead and straighten this out. See, it's kind of all crooked here. So go ahead and just straighten that out. So it would probably be a good idea just to uh, fill your bobbin with thread. Whatever thread you're going to use. Um, for the top, yeah, whatever, and then your bobbin has to be the same width or the same weight. Otherwise, it really starts to gather and it throw your attention. Did you girls get that? Yeah, yeah it's uh, it's a pain if you don't do it that way. So that's just your straightener. So just straighten it out. So from there, then you go. So you need six of those here. Oh, 
And Denise, how much, how long does it take you to do one full size quilt? For me, it takes me two hours. Between an hour and a half to two to get the one full one done and filled in and ready to quilt. So by next year, girls. Goals. Six, nine. Goals. <laughs> Yeah, Felicia is just. I think my kids are gonna be very happy because yeah, I'm here. gonna try to make them ones for Christmas. We'll see. Okay. Exactly, like I always say with these classes, if you never did sewing or you run in, um, um, since I've been having these classes. Um, a lot of people invested um, sewing machines for themselves, or they already had sewing machines, just didn't it's know what they were three, doing with them. Six, nine, five, um, four skips out of that but one. more than anything, I always tell they the students, once yeah. you learn today, go yeah, home and teach your kids yeah. and teach your relatives, whatever. But more than anything, we were always gift givers, and so you, now you will have a trade that you can make something and give it to someone. and hard times come like we all know, then you have something to fall back on. Yeah. But exactly. never cheat your, and never cheat yourself when you sell or what, you know, because it's a lot of time and your, your money and it just sweat sweet, and right? tears. Eh? <laughs> but you should be able to go, uh, we're up at Sundance this year, and, and one of the aunties came from Washington, and she did a, a giveaway, and everything was everything that she made. That's and, cool. Right? And so now, Stoney and I were just talking the other night about how I know how to do all these things. <laughs> right? So I have no excuse to, to not have everything for a giveaway. Yeah, just think how much money you'll save and you're divesting in stores. Mm -hmm. yep. You got to remember, we've been doing this for a long time. We're just getting back to doing it again in, in a different setting. Look at you guys are learning by technology. Um, other than that, how did they used to do all the other stuff back in the day when we didn't have these, these um, things to help guide us or the roller, the scissors? I guess you know we've evolved. Know. We uh, we have a, we have oh, evolved okay. so much, but like I said, you know we've always been creative and innovative, and you know this is nothing new. It's just we're just getting back in doing it again and um, doing it for um, all the right reasons of you know we can't say we're bored. Don't ever exactly. say exactly. Winter time's coming. Be productive. Yes. That's our time where we always are we always sewed and made things and because we're stuck inside. Being industrious. Exactly. Uh question, how many strips for the last color? Uh she'll be get she'll be doing five of this okay. last color. <laughs> so if you want to if you want to look at um how she broke hers down this is what it is so she has her two four two four eight six and back to five this is your center going here you only need five so she's only going to cut five of these yellow two four six eight and five yeah, yep. two, four, six, eight, and five. The five is your center. That's gonna come all the way around here. If you can see that. So her yellow one, she had only cut five strips of that. Okay. And then if you guys can, um, I did send you guys the evaluation. If you guys can fill that out and send it in. And if you guys are um in a real star quilt making mood and you guys finish about 20 star quilts can you guys send me pictures okay. no i try to use um, okay. pictures and visuals when i do my presentations or 
um, when I send to funders, because um, I write the grants for this, to yeah. be able to have these classes, this pays Denise plus all the material plus you get to yeah. take it home. Okay. Usually we feed everybody. You know, we have all kinds of goodies, but um, with this COVID, we're not able to feed and stuff like that, and we're only limited five because it's a small classroom. But um, once we go get back, we'd like to open it up to you know. Usually I have three classes of Star Quote. This round we're only yeah, doing one start class, it's just kind of but like offering over Zoom. Zoom. It's gonna be yeah. Oh, okay. You're allowing yourself to be told. And Denise is available on Facebook. Um, it's under Denise McKay. Um, you guys can friend her or send her a message if you have questions. And I guarantee you about two, three o'clock in the morning, she will be up. Hey. <laughs> Cause she's probably trying to fulfill an order. She's constantly busy with orders. So don't, don't think you're not disturbing her. She's, she's busy, but she's not busy yeah. enough to, you know, she likes to help others. So. Awesome. Yeah. Grab. Yeah. So this is Nicole's stuff. Don't judge this my colors. <laughs> we might be all Those are um, pretty. colorblind. <laughs> no, it always seems like when the students always say, um, I don't think my colors, but once they do it and they get it done, it's actually pretty nice, pretty nice colors. And as you can see how she had to cut so many. Do you kind of see that now? Yeah. Okay, I'll have her. Okay, what we'll be doing next is we're gonna pick up how she need how she has it here on her um her diamond. So So then you're gonna pick up from here. I wish I could have had this cut out, but you're gonna pick up from here going this way. Okay, so. So just gray. So just go all the way down. Just go all the way down. It's gray, lavender, flower, flower like this. this. Okay, this is this is uh, one diamond that that's done. Okay, now you're gonna go to the next row, which you're gonna start. Okay, then gray, and then your print. Oh, oh your um, purple. purple, and then your flower, and then your blue. Okay, that one's done. Do you get oh, that, girls? Now, no. Oh, can you do it again? <laughs> yeah, right there. Can I do your third one? Gray, purple, flower. Then you set that down. Okay, now your fourth one. Yeah. Blue, and now you're going to go back down. Get all back up. Down. Oh, you cut more than one. Yeah, there was extra. Oh, okay. That. Yeah. Okay, that's, okay, that's your pound. So then we're going to start back again. So once you start sewing, this is down here. Yes. <laughs> This okay. is down here. So then I take them. Once I get this done, I take them. Then I just go me vice versa them. So that you're back to this. Okay. This grit. You're back to this first mm -hmm. line again. And so these are your extra. When you're going to start sewing, when I ask you, remember that 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 uh, little triangle type thing. Mm -hmm. So this is where. When you're gonna start sewing them, you're gonna fold it like this. And just crease it. So remember I said you're gonna, cause mm -hmm. they all have to go down in steps. Okay. So you can just do it as you sew, or like I always just sit there, when I, once I do that, then I just go all of them in, and this way I'm speaking them up and I'm. So once you start sewing, this is ready to go, and then you're just gonna crease it, so just so you know where to put this next, the next uh, line here. So you gotta really make sure you can see. Okay, so 
so you can see that line. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when you're gonna start to sew, this needs to come and turn. And yeah. then you're going to start sewing. So when you open it up, if you really look at it, you got your lines right. You see that line is continuing. Mm -hmm. That's how all your panels should look all the way down. Okay. Okay, so this, when you start sewing, you're going to lap it. Then you're going to drop your needle. Then you'll start. And there might not come up like as even. And I always talk about a little triangle. This is a triangle I talk about right here. If you can hit that right when you're sewing, that, that that's going to be your point and that's where you see how your lines are going to come mm -hmm. constant so all of them once you sew them like that then they're all going to come down your next one once you fold it your next one is going to be like that okay this is the panel i talk about then you're going to iron once you get these all down like this and then oops see that's how your panel is mm -hmm. going to look so all of these should have a line here okay so then when we start cutting we're going to cut that off and then from there we're going to drop three inches down Okay. So all of them are always laying down. You're going to start out with this one, just then open this back up and lay this down like that. That's how it's going to be when you start. You get it, here. girls? Because you're ready to sew now. You're ready to start putting these, putting these together now. We'll get you a sewing machine, and then you can start when sewing you, these. When you go to sew it together, those the the top corners of the the second or third. Whatever, when you when you crease them down, the top corner should be should meet that spot, right? This way. Yeah. Always yeah. folding. Yeah, always folding this direction. That's just okay. so they're gonna come down, and uh, we're not wasting because you can't have them all together like this. They're all gonna come down. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that's the way. Yeah, that's the way to be. Thank you. Yep. Okay, so you can get a machine. Get you a machine, then you, huh? You don't need to, because once you get them all in a panel, then you're gonna iron. Okay. So you could just sew them like that, and just you just can keep them side by side. You can keep them side by side. So how she did hers? So this one you go like, this one is this one. So it's red, red. Moon, white, right? Yeah, or is we're, it the wrong way? we're gonna flip it over because otherwise, once you get it together, then it's gonna mix you. Cause see, you're going always gonna work up this way. Oh, okay. Okay, so then we'll just you got it all lined. So you got your yellow. So goes your yellow this blue way out. Up. You're always gonna go up. Yeah. Okay. Did you see that? You start from this. You get this yellow, and, then, and always gonna work up that way. Okay, I did my back. Okay, yeah. So then your next one, this next one would be just, just blue, gonna, yellow, blue, red. and this is your last. So then when you then when I pile them, I just pile them like this. So once you pick them up, and then they're all right in line again. So you can pick this one up, this one, this one, then you end up right here. Mm -hmm. That's one panel. Mm -hmm. and how I told her, but you're going to cut, you're going to measure this one in like this. Mm -hmm. So you're going to piece them so they're all down the steps like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, both of you guys are ready to sew. You can get a machine. And Machines are um, around to grab. Oh, mm -hmm. exciting. Look at that. I was excited at this. Yay. Jen, the last star quilt I tried making, Grandma Agatha was alive and she tried teaching me and it was a bow in the center. <laughs> Oh, oh no! Uh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<gasps> oh, cool. She's falling. Felicia, are you falling along? Yeah. And um, look, her colors. Cool. <laughs> I'm trying to I'm trying to stack oh, the colors. Nice. Right now. So I like that. I'm awesome. The colors. I'm getting lost stacking the colors. Okay, you're getting lost with the colors? Yeah, I'm getting lost stacking the colors. So her colors? Okay. So I'm gonna show Denise here. Yeah. Okay, so is it your print? Uh which one is your center? Which color is your center? That dark blue one. Or wait, the um turquoise one. That's the one that has Okay, so your dark blue your dark blue print is your center and your point? No, it's the second the second dark blue. That one has eight. <laughs> so that's the way you want to lay them. So your center is this yellow print, the point. You only got yeah. two two strips there. Yep, that's the yellow. Okay, so that'll be your point here. So we're gonna put we're gonna put yellow here and the yep. yellow here. Okay, then what's your next color? The white. White. Yep. Okay, so we put white white and then i'll show you how to pick them up and then your um what is it teal or i don't know it's kind of like a sea green we'll just put g we'll just put green you'll know you'll know yeah. what color okay so we're gonna put green like this then your next color will be your we'll say blue and then this one will be a print okay okay your blue Okay, then this one is your print. Yeah. Okay, so when you're gonna pick them up, you're ready to pick them up. You're gonna lay them yeah. all out. Um, you could have just folded, left them folded in half. Yeah. It's easier. Yeah, it's easier to put them in a pile. Yeah. Okay, so you leave them in half the way uh, the way you cut them. Yep. Okay. So. Anyway, so then you're going to, when you start to pick it up now, you're going to pick up from your print. Your print, then your blue, then your green, and then your white and yellow. That's oh. one star. That's one diamond there. Okay. One, one. Okay. You can pick, pick it up like that and then just push that aside because you're going to pile them back up that way. Okay. Okay. So that's going to push that aside and then you're going to pick up your blue, your print, your blue, your green, and your white. Yeah. So the blue, your print, I mean the print, the blue, the green, the white, the white and yellow. That's one pile. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. Then you go to the next, the next row would be your blue, okay. then your print. Okay. Then your blue, green and white, and then push that aside. Don't pile it up, just push it aside. That's good. Yeah, that's your second row. So, the First row, second row, third row, fourth row, and fifth row. Okay, you pick up your third row. It's your green, blue, print, blue, green. That's your third row. Okay. Okay, then your fourth row, you're gonna go white, green, blue. Okay. Okay, white, green, blue, print, and then blue. Print, and then blue. White. So your last row, your fifth row, should be yellow, white, green, blue, and print. Okay, that's your last row, and then start crisscrossing them, how I showed you how to lay them down. Uh-huh. Just pile them all back up there. So start piling the, that the one you just finished. Put the second one on top of that one, crosswise. Uh -huh. Can you turn and that around so I can take a look at it? Turn that around. So you picked up. You're always going to pick up going up this way. Okay. You're always going to pick up going up. Oh, when you pick okay. up when you pick up your um when you pick up your 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 strips that's the way you're always going to pick up going up okay 
Do you start in the center and pick it up or the top? So when you start to pick it up, it's going to be your pattern. That's your whole center. That's only the one that has five. Yep. Okay. So you're going to pick up from there and you're going to work your way up. Always going up. Yeah. Okay. So when you lay them down, you're just going to lay them on top of each other like this. And then you're ready to start sewing. Okay. 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 When you're folding, this is when you fold it. Mm -hmm. then I think I messed up somewhere. <laughs> oh. Okay. So then you have that there. Then you're going to bring this always laying on top. You're going to go a little bit above. These ink could be exactly oh, online, but just go a little bit above and then right along your your foot there. That's where you have to keep both of these together, right? Together. Don't go any skinnier, any wide, any. Keep this row right along your foot. Right here, I'll show you. We'll get started. Five. Five. Um, it's a five and two. Five seven, they're not five starter kits. Good lord. Okay. Side. Okay. See, see right here when I see you. Yeah. Yeah. So you're just gonna fold it, but you're gonna always it's really important to keep your seems even because once you start ironing and once you start getting trying to get a match up your points you go too far in too fat then that's going to affect your diamonds oh. so just keep it right so just keep it right along so your seam yeah Really <laughs> 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 Really cool. Oh no, what? Don't you remember that one I was telling you about? Really bad. I don't know. Then you just add those to be done, remember? I know. Service, service 11 machine, $1,100 that day in our back. Yeah. 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 So you're always going to keep your seam right along the edge here. So when you open it up, that's what it looks like. Then your next color. Oh, okay. I just had an aha uh -huh moment. Oh my gosh. Some of these patterns, you have to, it goes the opposite. Uh, you have to go the opposite. So you're just going to go a little bit over. I would say you're going to go over about maybe from the line, when you say inch. over, it's to the line. Okay. Yeah, so, so you know that's going to kind of end up with where your, where your line is going to be. So we'll go a little bit over this line here. And just drop it right down, right to the edge again. Keep it right. Right 
on your ride along there. Okay. And you're ready to go for the other color. <laughs> I want to it's too stressful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she needed help with the bobbin. Oh, you bought the bobbin. I don't know. She has a finger. Let's see. You see where that little. Jenna, are you guys up at that log house? Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, I am. I can go that. Okay. <laughs> yep, up here at the log cabin. It looks really nice in there. Yeah, this is in a basement. I have never been down that part. So th this part is kind of like the quiet part. If you guys need to use the restroom, need to eat, need to get something to drink, need to kick your sewing machine a couple times, Melissa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, uh, we're gonna take a little break. So we're still gonna keep recording. If you wanna visit with Nicole or Sheridan, say hi. <laughs> to hear? Yep. Okay. So you make yeah. sure you get yeah, all kinda. those lined up. And me, like I said, I can put them all five of these panels, but if you're for it more comfortable with just using one at a time, um, you can't. It's just more time to think that, you know, to put one at a time. So at home, let me just... Yeah. So you're always going to have your 45 degree here angle, so then what you're going to do is you're going to Sure. Get it. They're all not going to match that. You see that both of these can? That's why some your iron is, see how it's kind of. So that's just the, the tension you're pushing in and then so you're you're 
taking it, I mean, like getting out of state. But, so this is what you have, you're in the fifth bank too. So these are all, but you're gonna get it as close. Like, So once you do that, <coughs> <coughs> Okay, so then you're gonna just cut this this part off there. And keep this on this line so you're trying to keep it as best as you can. This line, your clock. Oh, okay. okay just yeah, try to keep yeah. it on there. So I'm gonna drop this down and I'm gonna eyeball. This needs to come out right here. So I'm just gonna drop this down here. I'm going to leave my roller in there and then push the box a little bit. So this is the center. That's just, this is what you're going to throw away. Okay, from there, then you're going to bring it back down here. Keep this right along the fabric. <clears throat> and you just can hit your green here a little bit. So this way is going in the front of this line. Okay, so that you remember to make sure to things on there. What number are you putting it in? The three? Three. three. Yep. Oh, always going to be three. Three inches. We always work it in three inches. Okay. Thank you. When you slide it up, are you matching this top part to anything? Or you just no, I'm just making sure. sure. I'm okay. just making sure this line is staying right there. That's what I'm doing. Okay, so. That's all you're gonna do, and then I line them up like this. So, because this is one more diamond. So just you just yeah yeah just like that, so you don't get mixed up. So I'll show you <clears throat> once you get all of them. This is your point. So this is the first one you're gonna sew. So then your next one. Third one. Fourth one. And the fifth one. Okay. I'll tell you that awesome. You see that, ladies? Should I go above? Yeah. So this is how her diamond's going to look once she starts putting it together, sewing it together. Voila! Ooh. So this one, mm -hmm. when you get done here, you're going to come down. You're going to allow this tip here. And if it helps you, <clears throat> if it helps you to make sure you're hitting that just right, I talk about that triangle. Mm -hmm. Me, I always just use my fingernail. And then I know that needle has to hit right there. So this is the little triangle I talk about right here. Can you get your closer? Your needle has to hit there. Your needle has to hit right there. So once if your needle hits there, your point's gonna your point's gonna be right on. It's gonna be lined up like that. If you but you gotta make sure your needle hits right where you right where you have it. <clears throat> Me, I, when I'm at home, I just I just use my thing. You know, see this is this line coming. I mean, this line. Mm -hmm. 
so I just go ahead and like when I sew at home, I just mark it. So if you want them, just fill this line right here and you can go like that. So you know your needle has to hit right there. Then some of them you could see through it like this one here, you can kind of see that red. You just can put a dot there. That's where your needle has to hit. And then this one, just find your line. Then it and your needle's going to hit right there. That's that little triangle I talked about. As long as you hit your needle there, your points are going to be right on. Okay. So you did five here, so then, then you're just going to back them all back up again. Okay, so you cut them, that's going to be there, and then just that's one diamond. This is two diamonds. Now I think we can end up with nine. And that nine one is going to give or take. If you make a mistake, then that, that's all you have is that one. Then just move it up. Hit this line. Put it at your three. Put it at your three three inches. And just go again. Okay. You're ready to cut too. Yeah. Okay. Scared. Okay, leave it in there. 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 Leave and then you're gonna lay top of Each one of these lay this way, that way. Yeah, it's just so do you see the 45 right here? Oh yeah. That's on the 45 angle. Remember she was talking about ladies? Yeah. 45 degree angle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll do that next step. This is over here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, leave it in. Okay. We have those big boards that cover almost this whole table, then you can just put all of them. <laughs> that one. Oh, wow. Yeah, really? we have the bigger ones back there. Really. Or like, can I set them up right over here? Um. <laughs> 